just what is a farm dog? A worker? A farmer's companion? He is spoiled. It depends on who you ask. Cute, fluffy puppies roam the grounds of Wagon Wheel Ranch in Howard County. But these dogs aren't pets. They're bodyguards. Poultry is extremely vulnerable to predators. We, we have to worry about them coming out of the sky, a hawk coming down to get the chicken. The, the barking dog usually keeps them away. Mm -hmm. Farmer Brian Shiner raises his chickens, sheep, and goats free range. But that freedom comes with some risks. Of course, everything wants to get to the eggs. Snakes want to get to the eggs, foxes want to get to the eggs, raccoons want to get to the eggs, skunks want to get to the eggs. So that dog keeps all of those out, or if they do get in, kills the animal. And that's why the role of guard dog is so essential here. Visit during the day, there he is, relaxing in the sun. But they're not lazy. This is just their downtime. These protective pups are on the clock when the rest of us are sleeping. One thing is that they're more nocturnal animals because the predators come out at night. So they're, they spend most of the day sleeping and most of the night barking. Raising a puppy to be an employee requires a different approach than raising the family dog, a strategy that's pretty hands off. A human can't train the dogs. The dogs are trained by other dogs. The dogs are born in the pasture, and from their earliest days, they're surrounded by lambs and goats to help them get comfortable with the animals they'll be guarding. At 10 weeks, they're taken from their mother and they're put into the field with chickens. And we have a really good dog in there that shows them what to do. As the puppies grow, they rotate through various fields, learning to protect different animals. It takes about a year before the puppies are trained and ready to start work. But not all working farm dogs go through an intense training process. We have two Pomeranians that, that are my daughter's dogs, and we accidentally discovered one day that their natural instinct is to herd. Over at Springfield Farm in Baltimore County, Valerie Lafferty was dealing with a few dozen escaped chickens when she realized her dogs had some untapped talent. And the dogs happened to be outside with us, and they ran at the birds and started barking, and we weren't quite sure if they were going to harm the birds, and it turns out that they were just encouraging the birds to go where we were trying to get them to go. With a little extra training, these girls now know when it's time to snap into action. <laughs> By saying the word work, and they know they're supposed to go out and chase the chickens back into their fence or back into their building. So it was quite by accident that this happened, but it's been a great benefit to us to help get the chickens back in where they're supposed to be. Over in Carroll County, four furry residents of Ship's Quarters Farm have job titles that are eh, more honorary than official. Some supervise my lessons, some like to teach. Donna Ruth says her 16-year-old Jack Russell Terrier Panda is the supervisor. He and the rest of the dogs are well-known fixtures at her Westminster Horse Farm, a place that sees dozens of riders a week for lessons. Come on, everybody out. They're a big part of everybody's life here, both the horses, the clients, and definitely mine. I'm never anywhere that if you look, one of the dogs isn't close by. Maybe the best way to recognize a farm dog is to catch him after a long day's work. When they go in at night, they're like most farmers. They're exhausted and they just all crash. <laughs> 